Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Julie of Julie's Plans and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you several of the new items that will be launching from Erin Condren tomorrow, October 8th, which I believe, yes, is Tuesday. So um, I just wanted to jump in and sort of share my thoughts. Um, these items were sent to me by Erin Condren, Samantha Kerr over at Erin Condren, so thank you very, very much. I am always honored and humbled anytime I'm given the opportunity to get a glance at something a little bit early and just love getting the chance to share it with you guys ahead of time and hopefully help you make a decision in case you're going to make a purchase tomorrow or in the near future. Now there are quite a few things coming from Erin Condren. As you know, she launches things throughout the year, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Um, and I love that she's giving us a lot of different options just depending on what people need or want instead of just one option. So that is one of the things, just one of the things at least, um, that I absolutely love about this brand is that they're always coming out with something fresh and new. It may not be for everyone, but there's something for everyone, right? So first I wanna start with a couple of the smaller items. There are these metallic hexagon sticker sheets. I've already taken most things out of the packaging because I really wanted a chance to take a look at it a little bit before I rushed in to do a review on an item that I'd only looked at for a couple of hours. <laughs> so there are these hexagon sticker sheets. I am already, yeah, these are definitely a favorite of this launch. You get all three sheets for $4.50. Plus the stickers always fall under the accessories sale. So it's like buy more, save more type of thing. And I believe if you buy four or more, you save 15%. So there'll be even less if you buy more. And they come in all of the different metallics. So this sheet is platinum, this sheet is rose gold, and this sheet is gold. Like I said, these are definitely a favorite of mine. Um, I think, let me see, I grabbed the newer Petite Planner that is starting in January. And these do fill in, this larger size fills in the center of the hexagon, which is cool if you want to do that. I'm not so sure that this is something that I'm gonna do. I'm already like annoyed by the hexagon. <laughs> So I don't know that this is something that I want to do, but that is the size of the larger ones on the sheet. And now I have to try and get it back up or I may just leave it there. These actually stick really, really well, which is nice because I think we've all known that sometimes some of the easy stickers don't, aren't that sticky or don't stay that sticky, but these feel really, um, yeah, I had a bit of a hard time getting that one off, but so there are those hexagons. I really, really love these. I will definitely be ordering more of these tomorrow. All right, so they're also going to be coming out with some new covers. This is the one that was sent to me in my PR box and it just says pumpkin spice and everything nice. I absolutely love this because I love pumpkin spice, just about everything pumpkin spice. So this is really cute and this is obviously a non-metallic cover so it's gonna be, I think it's $8.50 or $8 for the regular covers and $13 for the metallic covers. So this is really nice. And I usually tend to order my covers when they have the buy one get one free sale, but I'm really curious to see the other covers that they come out with because fall is my favorite. So I'll probably be ordering more fall covers. So next up is their new binder inserts. <laughs> I have some thoughts. Um, okay, so. I have had the binder since launch time back in May. Actually, it launched in June um, with a start of July, I believe, if you got the 18 month inserts. I actually got my binder at Go Wild from Erin Condon herself, which was really, really cool. But now they have the new daily inserts. I have so much intrigue and questions about this. It is just, oh my gosh. So. <laughs> Um, let's just start. So you get a cover page. You don't get the vellum that you get with the inserts for the regular life planner layout. I wasn't really sure why that is. When you get, let me grab it really quick. When you order the life planner insert, you actually get the vellum that goes right over. So it kind of would have been cool if this came with it, but it doesn't. 
So to order these, they will come in, now this is the packaging for this one right here. They will come by the quarters. So there's Q2, three, and four, and Q1 is already in my binder. So when you open it up, you have the life daily life planner page. That's gonna take a second to get used to saying. And then what I do love is that unlike their only other daily system, which is the Daily Petite Planner, you actually get, obviously because of the seven by nine size, you get this beautiful dashboard page, which is one of my favorites. You guys know that I do memory keeping in mine. And then you get the full month page. Of course, there's the difficulty with the turning, which I'm not gonna get into. Um, <laughs> And then you get to the daily pages. I have a really hard time turning my inserts. I don't know, the, the holes are also different, which is, we'll get to that as well. So <laughs> then you get to the daily pages, which is very similar to the new, which is, you know, they're already known daily pages of the um, daily petite planners, with the exception that the hexagon is not there, which I am very, very, very thankful for. If I were to use this daily binder system, there's actually more room for the hexagon, which is odd that they have this smaller page, put a giant hexagon on it, have a bigger page, but didn't put the hexagon on it. And then there's this teeny tiny calendar over here, and the calendar is bigger in the smaller daily petite planner. So I feel like there's a little bit of a mismatch if I'm being 100% honest, and you guys know I will always be 100% honest. Now, here's what I do love. I love that it's already timed for you. So it goes from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., and then you have a couple of extra lines here in case you wanted to go later, later in the day. You've got your typical to-do list. Um, this spot was left blank. I think that's where the calendar could have gone, but there's the tiny calendar down here. It's very small, you guys. It's, I, I don't know. Um, and then you have your to-do list. I think I already said that. And you have your space over here to fill in whatever it is that you want to do. Um, I, I love this. I love this size. Now here is where my curiosity is peaked. If this is available in a binder system, I am super duper keeping my fingers crossed that this comes out in a coil system in this seven by nine size. I, I can't imagine why they wouldn't offer this in a coil version because I would be all over it. I love this amount of space. It's on there a beautiful Mohawk paper. The print is nice and dark. I, I am loving it. I just, I'm not sure that I love it in this binder system. Now let me show you what I mean by the holes being different. I'm gonna grab my, the regular life planner inserts that I had to take out. Now, for some reason, the life planner original inserts that they started with are circular, and these ones are not. Um, the rings are circular, I think, <laughs> they're just, these ones are not. They're kind of like the coil punch, if that makes sense. There's a little bit of a straight edge and then it's rounded, which makes it very difficult to turn on these um, metal rings right here. That is a huge difference. They were already a little bit difficult to turn, not so hard, but with the way mine are punched anyway, it's hard to turn. Um, I, I don't know what else to say about that other than it's really difficult to turn. So there's that about the holes. Now we get to the weekend, which you guys know, I it's my thing. I need a day per page for a daily planner to include the weekends. Even in their petite planner, it's split on one page, but it's horizontal. Now I will say that this is a step in the right direction, though with it being vertical, there's still a significant amount of space here, definitely more than the petite planner because obviously it's larger, the A5 petite planner versus the seven by nine life planner size but I definitely love this option a lot better. You get a bigger space to write your list. You could even draw a line down the middle and do times on this side and your list on this side. You have a very large section for what they're calling notes, inspiration, and reflection, and so on and so forth. And it, like I said, it comes in quarters, so the first one would be January through March. Now, my question is, is if they offered this on the coil, it would probably only be half a year at a time because I can't imagine. It's pretty thick with three quarters. That would be a giant coil, but I would love it 
absolutely love it if they included two quarters, a good half a year for a daily planner. That would be amazing because maybe you don't need a daily planner all year long. And it would be really cool if you could get quarter one and two or quarter two and three and so on and so forth, just based on what you need for your life. And again, I just cannot imagine that this would be available in a binder system, but not a coil system because that's how this binder came to be, right? The life planner was available first and then came the binder system, basically uncoiling the life planner and putting it in here. Those are just my thoughts. I'm really, really hoping that, <laughs> that this comes in a coil version because like I said, I will be all over it. Plus I can use more of my covers. I would just love it. Now, if you're a binder person, you're going to love this. You're gonna be able to open it up, take out your pages as needed to write in them. Again, this is really hard to take out. I promise I'm not trying to be difficult. Um, yeah, just the shape is throwing things off, getting it in and out of the rings. Um, but yeah, this would be great if you wanna take the page out and then you can go ahead and just pop it back in if you're someone that wants the coil out of the way. And there we go. Okay, so there is all of that. Oh, and the price for each quarter of the binder inserts is $15, which is really nice because maybe you just wanna get one at a time and it's $15 as opposed to buying a whole life planner or, being, or having to buy all four. So I'm really glad that they're gonna make it an option to buy one at a time. And you can also see if you want, really want to use this by buying one quarter at a time as opposed to buying all four. But I am glad that I have all four. I, I'm really, really hoping that it comes on a coil. I'm pretty sure that's the fifth time I've said that. I'm sorry, okay. All right, so moving on, let's get this binder out of the way because if you, if you are not a coil person or a ring person, they have finally come out with a life planner. Now I was sent the eight by 10 size, but this is the, and let me see if I can just back out a little bit more for you. So I wanna fit the whole thing in here. This is the Soft Bound Erin Condren Life Planner. Now mine is the eight by 10. They will be coming out with a five by seven. Unfortunately, it looks like the five by seven size will only be horizontal. I was really hoping from some previews in the beginning that it would be five by seven would be available in the hourly and the vertical. I guess they just haven't been able to make that happen yet. So it's still just horizontal. I do have the colorful hourly in this eight by 10 and it is stunning. Um, it has the gold edge along the pages there. It is really, really beautiful. You guys know I love gold and I love colorful. So, and it is soft bound, which means it's just, I don't know how to put it. I tried the hardbound for like a minute last year, the year before, and I just didn't like it. I don't know what it was. I, I just didn't. Now, the one thing that I'm shocked that is missing is the hardbounds had the year along the spine, and these do not. I don't know if it'll be an option. I don't know if personalization will be an option. The one thing that I do love about this though is the price point. This is at such a better price point than the coiled life planners. These start at $30. I believe mine is colorful um, kaleidoscope, colorful hourly is $35. Now let's get started in opening it up. Now you have this beautiful turquoise lining right here on the inside, it is really nice. You don't get pockets with this, That's there's gonna be some drawbacks to this, so there's not a pocket folder, there's not stickers in the back. There are slightly less notes pages. Um, I'm trying to think of what else would be different, so that's where I can see the price point coming down. They don't have the metallic Coils, so there's not that in there. And I think that that's how they got to the $30, $35 price point. So starting right off, you have the beautiful cover page, the uh, Life Planner Hourly Layout. This is my life, a place to put your name. And this is going to be just like the Hourly Life Planner. I have mine here. It's gonna be a little bit hard to show. Here's the size difference though for you. It's, yeah, eight by 10, seven by nine. It's significantly shorter, and just because of the coil, it seems like there, it's not that much of a width difference, but there actually is. So the pages themselves are seven by nine, but with the coil, it's 
you know, when you run your hands along both, it's definitely um, a little bit wider. So there's that. I'm gonna try and show you guys how they are sort of side by side, but mine, again, is a Franken-planned life planner. So you do get the same quotes, but this one you have like the metallic on here, which is really nice, and you can see it's just the same. And then you also will get the year at a glance at the front. And I like here how, because these bound books are only calendar year, so January to December, I had to cover up the last six months of mine, but they left you lots of space for notes, which is totally awesome and didn't add in the additional six months, which most of us don't actually need. So you're not really missing anything here at all. Moving on, you get the I guess it's like a goals section, as you can see. I am just <laughs> kind of slacking on using mine, but again, just to show you, you get the same thing in both. So you're not gonna be missing out on a whole lot by moving to a bound book instead of a, um, a, li a coiled life planner. To me, I feel like the bound book is like a lefty's dream, even a righty, Wednesdays and Thursdays just kill no matter what you write with the coil gets in the way so here you go for this is obviously a july start this is a january start but you do get the notes page before and you get the quotes page and then you get the dashboard page just like you do in the coiled life planner so again you're not missing anything and i use mine for memory keeping on this side and obviously you're going to be able to fill a heck of a lot more in this one just because the, sp the space is a lot bigger and then you get this page as well. Now in the monthly section right here, you're going to, again, it'll be the same thing, but obviously with a little bit more space. I did bring my ruler down here because to show you the boxes, everything is gonna be slightly bigger. So the boxes on the Life Planner are gonna be just over one and a half inches, just a smidge over. And then the boxes on the soft bound, let me make sure I stay in frame are actually one and three quarters, just over three quarters, unless my ruler is right about here. So just at one and three quarters. So yeah, boxes are gonna be bigger. Everything's gonna be slightly larger in this book. To include the size of the columns. So let me get to blank page here on mine. Now again, I have some colorful pages in mine, even though I use the neutral, because I put two planners together. Anyway, <laughs> I don't want to confuse anyone, but the typical life planner, now the hourly is always a little bit slightly bigger than the vertical, but a vertical typical classic life planner, the boxes are one and a half inches wide. On this one, the bound um, soft bound planner is just over, it's right at one and three quarters. Just let me move my ruler just slightly over one and three quarters. It's significantly bigger and you can see I went ahead and put a couple of stickers down. There is definitely more space for you. It's just, it's great. And you get the same, let's see, I think you only get four spaces here at the bottom and here at the shading on the bottom of the softbound. You actually get five and obviously you can tell right here it's significantly taller. So there's just more space all around throughout this planner to really fill in your plans. Now, the times are the same, so you're gonna get 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., which is great, so there's you know continuity there, they're the same, so that's great. Uh, let's see, so moving on, that's gonna be everything for all of the weeks, months, everything will be the same. I just think that this is gonna be great to keep for those of you that feel like the coil is a problem, now what I've seen from some initial questions are how is this thing gonna hold up with stickers? And I think that that's one of those things where only time will tell. If you're someone who uses a lot of stickers, I mean, it's, it's probably gonna get chunky, but I don't know about you, but I kinda like those things. <laughs> so I am excited about that. Now, you don't get any tabs. That is one thing I wanted to mention. You don't get tabs, and I'm not so sure that I would be comfortable using the tabs from Erin Condren. I do use them in my daily petite planner. I shared that in a video last week, but they are paper tabs. I think over time sticking out because they're not protected by the cover, they could get damaged. So it really depends on what you wanna do. 
Again, Erin Condren does offer tabs. I don't know that I would necessarily want tabs on here. I know tabs are super useful and helpful, and at least here you could decide where your tabs will go, like directly on the month, as opposed to how they are on the life planner right now. But yeah, no tabs. You do get a ribbon page marker. I don't know what it is about these like satiny ribbon page markers. I don't like them. I don't know what other material they could make these out of, but I don't, I don't like these. And I don't know that I would use it. I would probably over time end up cutting this out. I don't know. Again, but now that I'm looking at the binding right here, the, the way it is bound is so that the book always lays flat. So that is definitely a plus. Like you can turn to any part of this planner and it's gonna lay flat for you. It's fantastic. Now you don't have the luxury of being able to fold it over on itself like you do with a life planner. You can easily grab it. It's taking up less space on your desk while you're writing. It really is, it comes down to personal preference, honestly. I love this thing. Like, oh, it's gonna be really, really hard to make a decision. So I'm really, really glad that this doesn't start till January because I have at least until January to make a decision. But I love this a hundred times more than the hardbound version. I could definitely see this being a part of my planner system. I would miss being able to fold it over on itself and I would miss my interchangeable covers. If you're not someone that's changing your cover every other week, once a month with the seasons, then this, this is probably going to be the system for you. And there's going to be other color options as well. Um, I don't have photographs of everything, but the options for the outside covers will be the shimmery rose gold the shimmer charcoal. This is the colorful kaleidoscope. And then there will also be the neutral kaleidoscope as well as shimmer turquoise. And the shimmer turquoise is vertical colorful, which I'm not a vertical user, but I do wish that you could get the turquoise in the colorful hourly. I believe the colorful hourly only comes in the colorful kaleidoscope. So this one right here and Let's see, the Shimmer Rose Gold, which kind of reminds me of the Passion Planner. Now that I said Shimmer Rose Gold, I've never had a Passion Planner. Now I'm like all excited, listen to me. But um, that's what these covers remind me of. I don't know, and they seem to hold up really well with sticker usage. I've seen lots of accounts on Instagram using the Passion Planner with stickers and have no issues whatsoever. Another item that I wanted to show you guys that will fit, and I had to grab it from clear across my table, are your elastic bands. I was like, okay, obviously this book doesn't have tabs, all that stuff, but you're wanna, gonna wanna keep it closed in your bag, and the bands from Erin Condren fit perfectly. And one more item that I wanted to try is the new pencil pouch, the new Planey Packs from Erin Condren to see if it fits. Now this could be a tighter fit. But let's try it anyway. It's a bit snug, but you can still get it on there. So if you really wanna keep it closed and have a few pens with you, this is going to be great. I love that that fits on there. I'm really excited about that. Okay. <laughs> This is gonna be awesome, and I have a decision to make. I don't know that I could ever leave my coil. This would make a great work planner. Hmm. Okay, so that is everything that I have that is launching tomorrow, October 8th, from Erin Condren. I, I'm really excited for some of these new items. I'm going to try and purchase the A5 Soft Bond Planner as well because I'd really like to take a look at it. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments on some of these items, specifically this daily binder insert. I am hoping that I am not the only one that is hoping that it's going to come in a coiled version. And I'd love to hear if you guys are gonna be ordering some of these new items as well. So let me know down in the comments. If you are new to my channel today, thank you so much for joining me and thank you for watching. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. If you have any questions at all about the items that I shared with you today, please feel free to ask down in the comments below. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.